Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today, we're diving into the world of electric vehicles, where the road has been a bit bumpy lately. The EV market has hit a speed bump, with sales not quite matching expectations. Dealerships are feeling the pinch as EVs gather dust in their lots, creating a significant imbalance between supply and demand. In this episode, we're shining the headlights on the EVs that are struggling to find a home. Starting at number 9, the Mercedes-Benz EQE. The Mercedes EQE, a newcomer to the all-electric lineup, hasn't quite lived up to the legacy of the beloved E-Class it's set to replace. Despite its novelty, sales have been sluggish, with over 1,000 units languishing in inventory as of last November. The market slowdown and the EQE's underwhelming performance are to blame. For a starting price of over $76,000, buyers get less than 300 miles of range and a design that's more generic than groundbreaking. The ride quality, a key expectation for any Mercedes-Benz customer, doesn't quite hit the mark. It's clear why the EQE is struggling to find its footing in the market. Moving on to number 8, the Cadillac Lyric. GM's journey with electrification has been a bumpy ride, with the Ultium platform failing to electrify customers. Despite selling around 20,000 EVs using this technology, the Lyric, in particular, has struggled with a market day supply exceeding 150. On paper, the Lyric seems like a good deal. For $58,000, you get a capable electric motor and a 302 mile range. But in practice, it's a different story. Battery and charging issues, software glitches and reliability problems common to Ultium-based EVs have put the brakes on sales. While the Lyric boasts a sleek design, luxurious interior and robust performance, it falls short when it comes to execution. At number 7, the Nissan LEAF. The Nissan LEAF, a trailblazer in the electric car segment, has seen its glory days fade. Once a hot seller, it's now struggling to move units off the lot. The second-generation LEAF, despite improvements, couldn't keep pace with the competition. Today, it's seen as an affordable but not particularly valuable electric hatchback, with a base model offering a modest range of 150 miles and an upgraded battery option that only extends to 215 miles, it's clear why the LEAF is losing its luster. Coupled with its lackluster engine power and interior design, it's evident that the LEAF's days are numbered. It will soon retire, leaving its mark in history as a pioneer of the early electric car era. In the sixth spot, we have the Ford F-150 Lightning. The Ford F-150 Lightning once a hot commodity in the electric truck market, has seen its popularity plummet. Despite high expectations at launch, sales have slowed to a crawl, with nearly 9,000 models languishing in inventory. This has led Ford to halve production and shift to a single production shift, impacting around 1,400 workers. The reason? EV pickups, it seems, aren't up to the task. Hook up a trailer, load up the cargo bed, and the battery drains faster than a leaky oil pan. For the average pickup driver, that's reason enough to stick with the reliable old internal combustion engine. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next EV. Coming in at number five is the Genesis GV60. In late 2023, Genesis found itself in a 200-day marathon to sell its modest inventory of 1,750 GV60 models in the U.S. While Genesis has been a shining star in the internal combustion engine luxury segment, it seems to have lost some of its luster in the electric car market. The GV60 comes with a hefty price tag, with base models costing well over $50,000. For that money, you get a rather modest 225 horsepower and a less than impressive sub 300 mile range. Upgrades are available, but they come at a cost. In short, people expected more from Genesis and the current sales trends reflect that disappointment. In the fourth spot, we have the Mercedes-Benz EQS. Mercedes-Benz had high hopes for its all electric flagship, available in both sedan and SUV form. However, the EQS hasn't lived up to the hype. With a market day supply well over 200, 
It's clear that the EQS's performance has contributed to Mercedes-Benz's decision to hit the brakes on its full electrification plans. The EQS may be a luxury vehicle, but it comes with a luxury price tag. It lacks practicality and, crucially, personality. Its generic styling, lackluster handling and odd brake pedal feel leave much to be desired. It seems that Mercedes engineers could have put a bit more spark into this electric vehicle. At number three, we have the Porsche Taycan. The Taycan, Porsche's sleek EV, is not just struggling with significant price depreciation in the used market. It's also a slow seller as a new vehicle, much slower than Porsche anticipated. With a market day supply nearing 250, the future doesn't look bright for the Taycan. The main culprit, the battery. A range of 200 to 250 miles, depending on the model, doesn't justify a starting price of around $90,000. And considering that this car was designed to be driven hard, real-world numbers are likely even lower. The 2025 model does bring some improvements, but given the recent slowdown in the EV market, it's unlikely to turn the tide. In the runner-up spot, we have the Ford Mustang Mach-E. Once a hot seller, the Ford Mach-E's sales have cooled off significantly. Initially, demand outstripped supply with long waiting lists and hefty dealer markups. Today, the situation has flipped. With nearly 23,000 models in inventory across the US, it would take over a year to sell them all at the current pace. The market slowdown has hit Ford hard, and the Mach-E's reliability issues haven't helped. Recalls, including one for sudden power loss, have dented customer satisfaction. The fact that nearly half of Mach-E owners have since bought an internal combustion engine vehicle speaks volumes about its practicality. And finally, at number one, we have the Jaguar I-Pace. The Jaguar I-Pace, Britain's first electric car, was a sensation in 2019. It proved that electric cars could thrill driving enthusiasts. But today, the I-Pace is more of a museum piece than a hot seller. Despite its still enjoyable drive, it's struggling to find buyers. With the current sales pace, dealers would need 647 days to clear a modest inventory. Five years on the market have led to buyer fatigue, but the rapid advancement of EVs has left the I-Pace in the dust. Its battery, with a modest 246-mile range and slow DC fast charging, doesn't justify the nearly $74,000 price tag. It's clear why the I-Pace isn't exactly flying off the lots. Thanks for joining us at Piston Pundit. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop with the latest vehicle updates and upcoming videos. Until next time, keep those engines revving.